I'm Whitney Bond and this is 29 Minute Meals, the web series where I'll show you how to make a delicious recipe in 29 minutes or less. On today's episode, I'm cooking up a scrumptious, gluten-free Chinese honey chicken. This is one of the most popular recipes on my food blog, WhitneyBond.com, and I'm so excited to share it with all of you today. So what you're gonna need is honey, gluten-free soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, crushed red pepper flakes, sesame oil, olive oil, garlic, chicken, egg, cornstarch, brown sugar, diced green onions, and a chopped up red chili pepper. So let's get cooking. First, we're gonna start by adding the honey, the gluten-free soy sauce, the apple cider vinegar, and the sesame oil with the red chili pepper flakes as well to a small bowl and we're gonna whisk that together and that's gonna be our delicious honey sauce. Now, you may be asking me, why am I making this delicious Chinese honey chicken gluten-free? Well, I'm glad you asked. My brother is actually celiac and has asked me to come up with some delicious gluten-free Chinese recipes for him over the years because he loves Chinese food but he hasn't been able to eat a lot of it because a lot of it is battered and fried. And so since he found out that he was gluten intolerant, he has had to make all his own Chinese food at home. So I've been the good sister whipping up some delicious recipes for him, like this Chinese honey chicken. And it's really taken off. People that are looking for gluten-free options online have really loved this recipe. And it's really, really easy to make, which I also love. All right, so now that our sauce is all whisked together, we're just gonna kinda move this stuff to the side. We're gonna set our sauce to the side. And now we're gonna bread our chicken. So when it comes to breading, when you're going gluten-free, cornstarch is a really great substitute for flour. And it makes a nice crispy outside on your chicken. So we've got cornstarch and brown sugar, and we're gonna combine that on a large rimmed plate. And then next to that, we're gonna whisk an egg together. And that can also be done on either a large rimmed plate or a large bowl, or hey, you know what I use? A pie plate. This is actually the perfect thing to bread in because it's got the rim, and so it keeps all the egg in there, but it is big enough to where you can fit all the chicken in there as well. So now we're gonna whisk our egg together in the pie plate. All right, so the chicken is cut into little cubes. We're gonna add it to our egg and give it a nice little toss. And then we're gonna transfer it over to the cornstarch and brown sugar mixture. We're gonna fire up our stove top over here. And we're gonna add the olive oil. And then we're going to add our red chili pepper. And garlic. One of the tricks that I've learned over the years about breading is that you should always use one hand for wet and one hand for dry. So I've been using this hand over here for the chicken and the egg. So I'm gonna use this hand over here to mix it with the cornstarch and then I'm gonna add it to our skillet with the garlic and the chili peppers that have been sauteing for just one or two minutes. And coating the chicken really helps that delicious honey sauce that we made that we're gonna add to this stick to the chicken. Just gonna kinda shake off any excess before we add it. We're gonna go back to the wet hand for the egg. Gonna add some more of our chicken over here. Gonna toss it with the cornstarch. Now we're going to just toss our chicken around in here and let it cook up for about four to five minutes. 
Now that our chicken is getting all nice and crispy, it's been cooking up for about four to five minutes, we're gonna pour our delicious honey sauce right over the top. Mmm. Every last little drop of that, it smells so good. We're gonna toss our chicken around in this and we're gonna let it simmer for just a couple of minutes. Now that we've got a nice little bubbly sauce going with our chicken, we're going to cover this up. We're gonna turn the heat down just a little bit and we're gonna let it simmer for just about five more minutes and then it will be ready to eat. Mm. Now that our gluten-free Chinese honey chicken has been simmering away, it is ready to dig into. Ooh, nice cloud of steam coming from Mmm, this chicken that smells amazing. So we're gonna give it one last toss so that every piece of chicken gets a nice coating of the delicious honey sauce. And then I like to put it over brown rice, white rice, quinoa. They all work, whatever you would like to serve it on. So we're gonna scoop up a little bit over here. This has a really great balance of a little bit of sweet and a little bit of spicy. You have the red peppers, the red pepper flakes, and then obviously the honey and a little bit of brown sugar that the chicken was tossed in that gives it the sweetness. It's the, uh, the perfect balance of a meal. So we're gonna top it with just a few diced green onions at the end. I'm gonna cut off a little piece here, give it a bite. Mm. It's so good. It's seriously, it's been a few months since I made this recipe myself at home and I literally cannot wait to dig in for more. But right now we've got to get to Whitney's One Minute of Fun. Today on Whitney's One Minute of Fun, I invite back my bestie PK and his two favorite things in life are my cooking and playing games. So we're gonna do both. I'm gonna let him try this delicious honey chicken while I set up this game. So if you all are not familiar with this, this is the pyramid game where we're gonna stack up as many cups as we can without knocking them over in 30 seconds. There's your stack, sir. And I don't know if you guys remember, but a few weeks ago we played the pie face game and I creamed PK. So I'm planning Literally. to do that again. Go ahead and place your bets. I'm winning. And in three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Is he beating me? I'm winning! I'm winning! Oh man, wait, 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 I'm running out of space. Ah, he knocked them all over. I think I win. Wait, how do I, how do I keep stacking? I, oh, wait, down here? Does this work? I don't know. What are the rules? Why did somebody, ah! <laughs> I win! I win! I win! Woo! Join me next week for another episode of 29 Minute Meals because everyone likes to watch a winner cook. Woo!